Find out what's going on. Get involved. Change things from the inside. Make a difference. Take pride. Multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. All new Simply the Best Season 6. The continuation. Creating lifestyles. Mind, body, spirit. The secret to healthy, glowing skin. We encourage everyone, if you're looking for a skincare yeah. product, use something that rates low. More amazing natural tips from Mr. Lita and Sandra to a healthier, bright skin. Maybe change your diet. You have to change it according to your age. You have to change it according to the season. Achieve a great skin and a refreshed look from within. So supplements, don't take alcohol have good nutrients. Add more holistic remedies to fight acne. You have to go home, get rid of your dairy, get rid of your sugars. And on Spotlight, original Filipino music queen of soul, Jaya. She's like, hey, Yai, your song, it's on the radio. I'm like, oh, but I said, no, I was trying to be black. It's all these coming up. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to season six. My name is Louisa Marshall, and I'm happy to continue creating little inspirations to you all. Today, we are featuring for the first time the original Filipino music queen of soul, Jaya. But first, let me take you back to Gerba Bride Clinic with Estrelita and Sandra for more awesome tips to a healthier, glowing skin. Let's talk about skincare products. What do you think of skincare products? I think you have to be very careful and know, yeah. like I said, read the labels. There's a great uh, tool called the Skin Deep Database. It's a, it's a tool where you can go, it, it has looked at 75,000 skincare products and it has rated them on a scale of zero to 10 for toxicity, it's through the Environmental uh, Working Group. So if you have your L'Oreal favorites or you know your certain brands, go to that site and check it out. And if it's over five, then you need to get rid of it. We encourage everyone, if you're looking at, for a skincare yeah. product, use something that rates low. Sunscreen is one of the biggest culprits on this, and I hate to say really this. Big you know, I'm a big believer that you need the sun to a point, right? Sun produces vitamin D. We, our bodies need that. There's tons of research that shows the more north you go, the higher the per, per capita cancer rates because we're not getting enough sun. We're blocking out the sun. We've been brainwashed to think that we have to block out every bit of sun. We don't. We need the sun. You have to be careful and you have to be responsible. And I think if your face, your face is always on display you need to put something on it if you're gonna be out. But make sure that you're putting something on it that is clean. So I spent two years looking for a sunscreen. So we, we recommend a, co a company out of California called Suntegrity. It was started by a woman whose mother died of melanoma, but she wanted to create a sunscreen that wasn't gonna kill people because of the chemical ingredients in the sunscreen. So she created this line. It's a sunscreen, it has a sunscreen with tint, and it has a self tanner, and it's all clean. It has a one rating on the EW skin database. I'm 100% behind those products because that's going to keep you healthy and it's going to keep you protected. But we see people all the time who come in with these skin conditions because they're plugged up with sunscreen. Yeah, and that's uh, why you have people who have large pores. Well, there's two reasons why you have a size of pores depending on your age. To force the gravity over time, your little round pores that you have now become elongated because your skin is dragging down. One reason. The second reason is the fact that it needs oxygen. It cannot have oxygen when you wear sunblock. Or tons of makeup. A tons of makeup. Mm -hmm. And they're wearing like 50. And they're wearing 50. You only need a oh, 20. You need a 30. High. The higher the more it is, chemicals. more chemicals oh, it is. So you, you need a low, a low, you know, 20, and ideally. The, uh, 20, 25, the most. If you're eating healthy and you've got strong foundation internally, your skin helps to Blossom. block true. or regenerate, repair yeah. itself. Yeah. Okay, and knows how to work with the sun, which we do need. And vitamin C is actually, if you take high doses of vitamin C, it actually has proven to actually block out the sun. Believe it or not, yeah. there's tons of research coming out. It makes your skin out. strong. It makes your skin strong. Yeah. Silica, calcium, everything makes your skin very strong. It's how you use it and when you use it and what combination you use it. You can't just take a whole handful 
of supplements and chuck it down for breakfast and say I'm protected. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Certain times of the day you will use a certain amount, right? <laughs> so if you do that, and I counsel you on that, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist. I know from my studies because it's part of my studies that from the, it's all from the inside out. If your body is strong, you've got a good foundation, it's hard to break the building. Yeah. To yeah. slam it down, right? Once you get a damaged skin, it's harder to repair. So it's better to stick with what you have. Your skin looks good, it feels good, but keep the facial up and maybe change your diet. You have to change it according to your age. You have to change it according to the season. Well, and you also you may know? be allergic to food that you don't even know, yeah. right? So getting yourself, I always say that there's three tests that people should get heavy metals, hormones, and food sensitivity. If you have those things, you turn 40 and you do those three things, you have a blueprint for yourself and for your health, and Sorry. it's an anti-aging regimen that you can take forward for the next 15 years. Okay, so anti-aging, what can you recommend to me? <laughs> I be need happy. to know, <laughs> be happy. <laughs> It's several things, you know, we've touched on, on a lot of it, um, you know, paying attention to, again, the foods that we're, uh, we're eating, um, the stress, you know, yeah. I, I, one of I the biggest... Stress. There's no such thing as stress, it's how you handle it. You're going to carry somebody else's load on your shoulder, or you're going to say, enough of this, I'm not dealing with this anymore, just deal with your own problems. If well, there is a problem, right? And find an outlet for it. You yeah. know, I mean, you have to find a means to, I mean, it is a likelihood that everyone's dealing with it every day, but what are you doing about it? Are you exercising? You know, are you talking to somebody? Do you have relationships with people that are good for you? You know, Positive. Yeah. You, you know, just get rid of the people. negativity. I, I exactly. think negativity affects people uh, from an anti-aging perspective. And I find the older we get, I know this is my story too, uh, I just don't have time for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be happy. You know, and I, I find, want I want to be around people who are uplifting. <laughs> I don't want to be around negativity and so you have a choice you know just embrace that and be proactive about your life uh, the Sun sun tanning even a fake bake you go into the sun tanning booth they yeah. say oh it doesn't uh, yeah it does do a lot more damage than you realize really oh absolutely uh, alcohol is another thing because it, it compromises your liver okay if your liver cannot function properly none of your organs will function properly exercise is really important the older you get the more exercise you need, not because you want to over-exercise. Gentle exercise, whether it's dancing or yoga, Tai Chi, does a lot more better for your muscles. Because the hormonal changes that we have, your muscles tighten up, your tendons loosen up, but your muscles tighten up. So exercise over a period of time, you move in this, like if you can't do heavy duty exercise, do the yoga because you actually exercise in your internal soft tissue, and soft muscle. And your breathing, actually. And your breathing you know, is important. You learn to yeah. breathe properly. Oxygen. Properly. Oxygen yeah, outside we don't breathe skin, properly. Oxygen inside. Sugar is the number one thing, too. It feeds fungus or yeast, which is the same thing. Sugar is anything white, flour, rice, candy, pop, you know, and a lot of people don't realize that pop, uh, when, especially the teenagers that come in, I see this happening all the time, they got acne all over the face, all over the back. Usually the other part is, I didn't touch on this yet, uh, which I will now, if somebody comes with me, to me and have one side only, and not the other side, they're sleeping on the side. The linens. The, the linen, linen. The linen. Not because they're not washing the linen. The fragrances. The fragrance. Synthetic fragrance. Synthetic fragrance, the fabric softener, and also if the back. Okay? If they're lying on the back like this or they're sleeping like this, what or one side or the other side, or just on the back alone and everything else seems to be really, really nice, it's because of the fat they have fabric softener. I got rid of every single cleaner in my house because I knew that that was a culprit, right? There's so many problems in these cleaners that we have. Clean doesn't actually have a smell. It doesn't smell no. like lavender. It doesn't smell like lemons. Flowers or you know, rain. And so all this, <laughs> we are inundated with this synthetic fragrance, air, or air fresheners, the plug-in ones, our car fresheners, yeah. all of that stuff is bad for us. It's toxic. Antibacterial soap. The worst thing you could do to yourself is use antibacterial soap. Your body actually needs to have bacteria in order to learn how to fight it. That's so right. we are, we're creating these environments in our homes that are toxic. And again, what does it do? It affects our health, which affects our skin. Those little changes, if people can just embrace that, 
Stop being following the herd like everybody else. Start doing your own research and pay attention to your body. Your body will tell you everything it needs about itself, but you actually have to look at it and ask the questions. What's different? What am I? This food doesn't agree with me. Why am I feeling like this? Probably your, your body is telling you. You get bloated after you eat something. Don't eat it. <laughs> pay attention. And the other thing too is for anti-aging, you can ask is supplements. A lot of people think, well, I eat enough you know, healthful food, yeah. okay? Uh, I am healthy, I exercise, I don't need supplements. Yeah, you do. I tell you, you do. The older you get, the more you need, especially uh, women, because of the menstrual cycle that we do have. Each time you go through all that with the age, over here time, you lose so much iron, you lose so much of your uh, minerals, calcium, magnesium. The older you get, the more you need of that, but it has to be taken in the right way, in the right proportions. So supplements, don't take your alcohol, have good nutrients, nutrients, you know, eat healthfully, sleep well, be positive. That's your anti-aging right there. Nah. That's wow. a simple, it's a simple recipe. Follow <laughs> that, right? I know. It's, it's um, amazing. For acne, get off all dairy. Get rid of your sugars. After you do all that, then I would consider gluten. If it still doesn't, or it still, it works, but it's not working fast enough, look at gluten. That's another factor too. And salt. Salt. And salt is yeah. not on for acne. Yeah. There, there's a good salt. We need salt. We need salt. We need salt. It's a natural light. It's a natural light. It's and again, it's just but a it topical. It doesn't deal with the inside. It doesn't, doesn't deal, deal with, the with the holistic. And that's so. That's what we really are: is a holistic um, place for, for skin care. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Read your labels. You don't want parabens. You don't want some of the culprits. So Maria really had a wonderful, wonderful experience here. Uh, she she was really happy when she left. Yeah, <laughs> she was very happy, yeah. very relaxed, well, and looked ten years younger. In my opinion, I know, I know. <laughs> she was glowing. Uh, the thing is, why she was trusting us, Maria's daughter, Miss T Miss Teen Burnaby Ariel, uh, she came in a couple of weeks ago with quite a bit of uh, breakouts. So now I've had pictures of her taking after second treatment a big dramatic difference. And this is why Maria came in today because she trusted us. She saw the results, cannot believe the difference because we didn't sell her product. I don't want to sell her product. I told her daughter, I said, if you cannot work with me, I will not do you because I know, I know the results. I know well enough to say, I will do this for you, but you have to do this at home. This is what you got to eat and this is what you got to drink and this is how you're going to sleep. It requires a commitment. It, it has to be a commitment sides. because I don't want you to come and tell me, oh, it doesn't work when you have done nothing at home. Exactly. And we right? are committed exactly. to results. We Why want would, to help people yeah. get achieve healthy, bright skin. That is what, what this place don't is all about. Don't waste your money and don't waste my time. <laughs> this is the way we. This is the way we, why we work because we're honest that way in the sense that we don't want that uh, because I'm not concerned about your. I'm concerned about results. I have pride. We have pride in our work. Results. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you ladies are amazing. We can talk and talk and talk here forever and it's like wow. Yeah. This is the topic that I want to talk about. Thank you so much. You're thank very you. welcome. Oh, Great having you. you here. Thanks to Jaya, Estrelita, Sandra, Maria and Ariel. Thanks for watching. Please don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Always be kind. Let's stop bullies. Um, see you next Monday. Bye.